Another birthday celebration, Angela Yee. Yes, I was at Greenhouse last night. Charlamagne, the guy was popping. Peace to the planet. What's going on out there? It's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? This is Wednesday. To me, it seems colder today than it was yesterday. No, it It absolutely is. It seems like yesterday was way windier. Hell no. I walked from that car and it was freezing. Absolutely. And I, I want to say, man, to all the people out there, because when I was leaving the, the building here at the radio station yesterday, saw people outside smoking cigarettes. You have to really be committed to tobacco Absolutely. to be taking smoke breaks in this type of cold. Well, it's an addiction. They're addicted to it. Yes, you are definitely addicted to tobacco if you're taking smoke breaks in this type of cold weather. It's not worth it. Cigarettes just aren't worth it. Yeah. Sorry. Crazy. I mean, some weed, maybe I can get it. But cigarettes, no. It was just so cold last night. Shout out to everybody. I was at a, a club called Starlets last night. Amazing. Yo, you didn't do the whole thing, man. It's Wednesday. You didn't do your thing. Oh, yeah. It's Wednesday. You know what? Okay. You know what I found out about that? What? That guy gets paid every time. You can't even imitate it. <laughs> so every time we do that, he get paid. No, I don't know about him, but oh, if, he, he's if, if he had it on TV or something, or yeah. even, and you can't even imitate. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, you know, we gonna have to just keep the camera on our thoughts. <laughs> I don't want no back end voices coming to uh, the I, Breakfast Club. Absolutely not. And since that was your idea, <laughs> it wasn't necessarily my idea. <laughs> I'm just a fan of this thing called Wednesday. Okay. And, you know, he just represents Wednesday the right way. All right. But, yeah. Yeah. You get paid every time you, uh... It's Wednesday. You know what day it is. Yeah, you know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, we got front page news coming up. I mean, we do have to talk about this weather. Now, hopefully, there'll be a break soon. But I'll tell you how many deaths have occurred nationwide mm-hmm. because of this polar air. I made snow yesterday. Did y'all see it on my Instagram? No, no one follows you. <laughs> well, everybody follows me. I made snow. What you do is, if you get a chance, don't burn yourself. Try this at home. If you have kids, show your kids. Try this at home. They'll think it's amazing. You boil some water, right? And then you throw it in the air. Now, don't throw it over you. Throw it in the air, and it automatically turns to snow. It's amazing. So you're throwing hot water in the air around kids? No, no. <laughs> what? I don't know if that's a great what? idea. I don't think throwing boiling hot water in the air around kids no. is a good thing. But can I can I thank DJ Envy aside from that this morning? Why? I got a new phone yesterday. Oh, you got it worked worked out good. Yeah. Good, good, good. I got a nice good deal on this phone because Envy knows the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's get a crack in front page news when we come back. Keep it locked. This is The Breakfast Club. Let's go. Power Trip J. Cole. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Let's start off with some sports. Heats. I hate this name, man. Miami Heat beat the Pelicans. Like the Pelicans, that's not a tough name. Listen, the Heat ain't beating nobody right now. It's too cold for the Heat to be beating anybody, okay? I want the Heat to go on a losing streak well, the heat, until the cold weather goes away. Well, the Heat beat the Pelicans 107-88. And the Knicks, that's right, beat the uh, Pistons 89-85. They won the last three out of four. Hell might really be freezing over. <laughs> the Knicks don't want a couple games. <laughs> Knicks are winning, hey. Now, let's talk about this deep freeze. What's going on, man? Is it going to let up? Is it still going to be freezing whenever we get off work? But allegedly, by the weekend, the uh, weather's going to get much better. So, hopefully it does. It's too tough. Temperatures warmer here today than it was yesterday. It was seven degrees yesterday. Today it's nine degrees. Mm. But they're saying by this this weekend it should be, as they said, almost balmy. Okay. Well, salute to all the smokers out there that are committed to cigarettes, man. Still taking take break, take still taking smoke breaks in this cold, freezing weather. But That's 21 crazy. people have died nationwide due to the weather. Nah. I'm sure a lot, of homeless, a lot of homeless people, huh? Well, there's a lot of accidents caused by the ice and everything. They say a lot of homeless people don't want to go to shelters because they don't, they don't want to lose all the stuff that they do have. So they don't want to leave it. So they stay out there and try to protect it and wind up dying. Mm-hmm. So you'd rather lose your life instead of lose your little cardboard sign? It's more than a little cardboard yeah, sign, right. Charlemagne. They got the mattresses. They got clothes. I ain't never seen no homeless person with no mattress on the street. <laughs> okay? Take your little, take your clothes and go to the shelter and warm up. Okay? Protect your life. Now, also, let's talk about stalkers on Facebook. Yeah, so Danny Goff was slaughtered back in two th- 2010 right in front of his pregnant fiance. And the way that these three men found him was they rushed his home at night. They actually tracked him, him using Facebook. So that's how they knew who he was. Now, it's interesting because I did just get a new phone recently. And you know how they ask you about the location. Do you want to leave it on or off? Uh-huh. You got to leave that off. Hell Absolutely. yeah. I do not want people knowing where I'm at. Not at all. You fool around to be at your, your side chick house and just send out a regular tweet. You done told your girl you somewhere else. But then it says you in, you know, 
What? <laughs> Some place you ain't got no business being. This guy's crazy. This, that's, you, know, <laughs> you know what? Yes, it all boils down to not getting caught when you cheat, fellas. Okay? That's what it all boils down to? Cover your tracks. How about not cheating? All right, I mean, you know, that works too. Crazy. This guy here is crazy. All right, and that's front page news. Tell him why you're mad. If you're upset, you need to vent 800 585 1051. Maybe your favorite football team didn't make it in the playoffs and you're stuck at home on a Sunday doing nothing. Maybe it's too cold outside. Maybe you're just tired of hearing about the cold or tired of people tweeting and putting Instagram pictures of the temperature. If you're mad and you're upset and you want to vent, 800 585 1051. Call us right now and vent. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. Oh, this is DMX. And you know what makes me mad? We ask for the truth, but can't handle the truth. All right? Now tell them why you mad on the Breakfast Club, bitches. Hello, who's this? Yo, what's up? My name is Chris from PA. Chris from PA, man. Tell them why you mad, bro. I'm mad because I walked outside to my car. I got two flat tires and my somebody bust my window. I think it's one of my crazy ass exes. That's yes, right. It's definitely a female out. who did that to you. What did yeah. you do to her? Oh, it might be a sucker, too. It might no, be a what'd sucker you, to do. What'd you do to her? To be honest, I mean, I cheated, but, like, I told her about it. I kept it a 100, and then all of a sudden, now I come outside. I got two flat tires in my window, but... Because well, you know. kept it a 100 didn't mean that it protected her feelings. Yeah, yeah I don't know what you expected, sir. Then you better be glad that's all that happened. Yeah, you need to cut cut your losses with her, man, because it's too cold to be out here committing such crimes. So imagine what she'll do in the summertime if you cheat. True. I'm going to be one cold dude on my way to work today. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good morning, sir. Good luck. Hello, who's this? This is Jay from Long Island. Jay, tell him why you mad, bro. Hey, man, I'm mad at MD, man. I hate that, that commercial about the headphones and all that and listening to your music loud. Because I listen to my music loud all the time. What? But lately, but lately, pretty much, like, i just been, like, turning it down and all that. Even though I don't want to, but I kind I pretty much care about my ears and all that. You should care well, about com- your ears. Yeah, the commercial is protecting your ears to make sure you don't go deaf. Yeah, you're right. All right. All right. All right. That was weird. Your mom been telling you that for years, though. Whenever you have your headphones on and the music, like, your mom be like, turn that down before you go deaf, boy. Hello, who's this? This is Rochelle from Miami. Hey. Rochelle. 305. Give us some of that heat, Rochelle. Give us some of that heat. Oh my God! You know what I was looking at this morning? Wow. No. Like everyone else, I'm looking at Instagram like it's the Daily Paper, and I'm seeing like mommies that are like. Freaking 36, 35 on Instagram talking about hate is all in my face. I'm like, are you serious? You're like three kids, chill. I don't even know what you said just now. What the hell did you say? What's all in your face? We hear you. Talking about hating and haters and this and that. Oh, and yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, I don't think it's that serious for you. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm tired of people saying that anyway. Oh, I, I don't see the haters out there. Well, don't mention them. Don't even think about them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Put on I'm your like, hater blockers. The There's like nobody there. Yeah, so you know, like, but you oh know, you know what I always say, man. Imaginary players have imaginary haters. Absolutely. Exactly. Thank you so much. Go ahead and tweet that. So much fun. <laughs> I will. Well, have a good morning, man. Give us some heat. Go, go. Give us some heat out in that Miami. Don't, don't do that. All right, we will. I hope. I hope you guys get some cool or something different than what you. Got right now. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mama. <laughs> All right. Tell them why you're mad. If you're upset, you need to vent 800 585 1051. Maybe somebody pissed you off. You're having a bad morning. Whatever it is, call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Hey, yo, this is DMX. You know what makes me mad? We ask for the truth, but can't handle the truth. All right? Now tell them why you mad on the Breakfast Club, bitches. Brandon, tell them why you mad, Brandon. Man, I'm mad at God. Uh-oh. Okay, Uh-oh. let's hear, let's hear oh this one. Uh oh. I was on XNXX last night watch, watching a guy named Wesley Pipes, and his team is just 10 inches. All I got is 6 inches. Why the hell come God give me an extra two? You know why? You know why? Because it's gra- cold as hell in the morning. And Which in makes the it about 4. I lose two inches. There you go, shrinkage season. I go through the same and, thing. And then my girl him in the lane of bed with her with no clothes on. I don't feel comfortable flexing. Well, usually, you know, for me, when it, when I get warm again, I get back to my regular uh, girth and length. You better not talk. Eight, eight, eight and a half inches. I know I listen to the show all the time. No, 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 seven. no. I am seven and three fourths, eight in the summertime. Thank you. Where? Yes. Well, the pipes don't need all that penis. That's all I know. Well, listen, be thankful for what you have. When you when you when gratitude is your attitude, and you're thankful for what you got, you get blessed with more. You better not be mad at God. You better take it back now. I'm going to buy a penis cup. No, try Magna RX. A pills. what? A oh, penis cup? And then it's a little exercise you can do. You grab the tip of your penis when it's flaccid and stretch it. All right. Pull it out and stretch it. Oh, my goodness. Hello, who's this? Can you say? 
Tay, tell them why you're mad. I'm mad because I work in the um, a medical office and we're supposed to be casual Monday through Friday. Uh-huh. But one day I happened to wear jeans because it was freezing outside and got singled out. Meanwhile, it's chicks coming in here with dresses showing their vagina walls and it's okay. Wow, where do you work at? I need to be over there. <laughs> I work in a medical office. They come in here with leggings, which is not work appropriate, but I wear dark jeans and it's a problem. I think it's because I'm black. Hold on, let's get back to these vaginal walls. Are they healthy looking vaginal walls? Stop it. <laughs> Sneak some pictures for Instagram, man. Do oh, it for the vine. Stop it. Thank you, Mama. Hello, who's this? Yes, yeah, this is Dana. Dana, tell them where you're at. I'm upset because um, I have a friend who is living in a motel right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> I noticed that y'all was um, talking about the cold weather and stuff, but it's places out here that can help people with assistance that's got kids. And they move slow and help people who they want to help. And I just think that that's messed up with the favoritism thing. And this is your friend that you couldn't uh, um, put her up or nothing? Yeah, why do you have her at your house? I have a house full and... I mean, I, I tried to help, but it's really not much I can do. I mean, it's hard on me as well. Hey, if she can afford to stay in a hotel, she ain't doing too bad. What kind of hotel she staying at? Motel, motel. 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 Where's she staying at? <laughs> it's not in a good condition. It's really not. Hey, I bet you they got heat. But yeah, true. She, but I just feel like her and those kids to be, you know, in a home. There's places out here that can help. I bet you that motel better than a shelter. <laughs> All right. Have a good morning, Thank Mama. You. Tell them why you're mad. We do every morning, 800-585-1051. Yee. Yes. We got rumors coming up. Man, let's talk about fathers and their kids. First off, young Jeezy. He got arrested. He had to turn himself into the authorities. I'll tell you what happened with him as a father. Also, 50 Cent. I'll tell you what he did with his child as well. All right. We'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Just hold on. We don't need two light-skinned guys singing on the radio this morning, okay? Let Drake do his job, Envy. You fall back. Mm-hmm. Morning, okay. everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Shalom, and the guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Time to get into those rumors. Jeezy arrested. Let's find out why. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Guys. The Rumor Report. Guys. Guys. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Now, young Jeezy was arrested in Atlanta, and that is for a battery, false imprisonment, and making terroristic threats against his son. Now, according to these documents, it said Jeezy got into a fight with his son in the bathroom, threw him into the glass shower door, he hit his head, then Jeezy allegedly punched his son in the face, dragged him into the bedroom, threw him on the bed, and pummeled him. That's when Jeezy's son attempted to escape. But Jeezy's bodyguard blocked the stairwell. Then allegedly young Jeezy choked his son and said, I will kill you. I will put a bullet in your head right now. If I could get away with it, I would kill you. That sounds like my childhood. What did son do, though? It doesn't say. We don't know. Young Jeezy did turn himself into authorities on Friday. He was bonded out after he put up $45,000. Now, he has responded to this. According to Young Jeezy's side of things, he said he did not brutalize his son at all or make terroristic threats against him. He's saying the whole thing was a setup by his greedy, gold-digging baby mama who got him arrested. Mm. His son is 17 years old. His name is Shadarius. And he did get into an argument with Young Jeezy, but it never turned violent, according to Jeezy. See, he told his that's son, where it went wrong. There's no way in hell your child should get in an argument with you. <laughs> well, hold on. can I finish telling you oh, what, okay, what yeah. allegedly happened from Jeezy's side? Now, allegedly, Jeezy told his son he had turned into a punk with an attitude, and he didn't want him staying at his house anymore. That's when his son became belligerent, and they started screaming at each other. Jeezy says he never hit him, choked him, or dragged him, but he did admit that he shoved him to the ground when his son got in his face. Now, Jeezy did say he told him, I bought you into this world, and I can take you out. Who parents ain't never told him that? Mine. My parents never said that. Well, he didn't love but you enough. I, no, I, I absolutely. Just, I, 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 I can't my have, grandmother I, even said it to me. I don't want to think about Jeezy quoting Bill Cosby. Listen, if Jeezy got arrested for beating and threatening to, ki- threatening to kill his son, then I need to press charges on my pops and mom right now. You and, and, when you, and when you say your child tried to escape, who ain't never tried to escape from an asshole <laughs> from their parents? I, who ain't never tried me? to run out the house? I tried. Or run around, the, run in the house, run hide under the bed or run something? Run around the table? Who hasn't? What are y'all talking about well, here? I used to get beatings. I would put a, uh, one time I put a book down my pants in the back, and then my dad All I do is make my parents swing harder. Let me try to pad my clothes, put a bunch of layers of clothes on, and put a book down my butt, and see what happens. <laughs> Are you crazy? 
If your parents never gave you a good ass whooping and told you I brought you into this world and I take you out, they just they didn't love you. But now, in all fairness, a beating is is definitely different than getting punched in the face. My you're, parents never he's punched a me in the boy, face. You're he's a female. A, exactly. He's a man. He's My seventeen years old. Punched in the face. He's either. seventeen years old. He probably said something to his dad, and, and his dad probably said, "Oh, you want to be a man?" Put your hands up. That's what like my dad said to me. Put your hands up. Jeezy's son, 17? 17! Well, let me put this in perspective. That's Chief Keefe age, okay? <laughs> Chief, talk, talk, preach! Chief, Chief Keefe run up on you crazy. You ain't going to swing on him? What, me? Yes! Yes! No, I'm not going to do that. No. Are you crazy? All I said, fa- try to fight? Listen, father-son dis- father, yeah. discipline is a whole different beast. Absolutely. I remember when I raised up on my pops at about 15, I got caught with a mean four piece. Your dad should have tasered you, just like he did at the <laughs> Cowboys. He, he probably would if he could have got this taser. Now, 50 Cent also, by the way, posted a picture of his child online, but then he took it down. He deleted it minutes after his, his son is 16 months old. And the reason why, allegedly, according to sources close to 50, is because he felt that posting his child's face online might compromise his safety. I so, thought all those pictures he was posting was of his son. They took him down. All of them he, he took down? Allegedly. That's too late now. They know what he looks like. Yeah, I'm of sure course. People obviously, some people took, yeah, that's why they're back up again yeah. on everybody else's site. And that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Thank you, Miss Yee. Now, up next, we got front page news. We'll tell you uh, what's going on about the weather and all of the, uh, all those other good things. Also, we got to talk about this Jeezy thing in depth. Yes. About disciplining your children. Yes, yeah. Envy and Charlamagne think it's okay to punch your child in the face and tell them that you would kill them and put a she, bullet in their head. You see how she take things exactly. so far? You did say that. Listen. Anybody who's ever been disciplined by their parents, especially a boy and their father, they understand. We'll they talk get. about it. We'll talk about it when we come back. Keep it locked. It's the breakfast. It's Crooked Smile, J. Cole, TLC. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get a little front page news. Let's start off with sports now. Um, I hate this team. The Pelicans lost to the Miami Heat 107-88. I just don't like the Pelicans. It's not a tough name. Yeah, I got to see a Pelican attack somebody on World Star or something before I start respecting the Pelicans. I, I need to see the actual bird beat somebody up like Diz be doing. I don't know. Now, the Knicks beat the Pistons 89-85. Shout out to the Knicks. That's the, uh, they won the last three out of four. Now, let's talk about this deep freeze, man. It was eight degrees when I came in this morning. Yeah, which is actually better than it was yesterday. So, they're saying all 50 states saw freezing temperatures at some point yesterday, including Hawaii. Where it was 18 degrees at one one location. Wow. Well, salute to everybody that's committed to their tobacco, man, and they're still taking smoke breaks in this freezing cold, man. Man, shout out to Birmingham, Alabama, where it was 7 degrees. Wow. Which was a low for them as well. Atlanta. Some of my friends in Atlanta were telling me that it was freezing out there. Mm-hmm. So uh, there was some record-breaking temperatures. Salute to everybody listening to us on 104.1 The Beat in Birmingham, too, by the way. What up? That's right. And 21 people uh, died nationwide because of the cold weather. They told you it was life-threatening cold, so why would you outside? I'm sure a lot of homeless people, too. A lot of homeless people don't want to leave their shop, and co- their little carts or their clothes or their belongings, their little mattresses. They don't want to leave them. Okay. To go and shelter. Mattresses. The best thing you can do for a homeless person at this time of year is buy some hot cocoa, man. Or okay. some hot tea or something. Well, you know what? Fortunately, it's uh, getting a little bit better. So yeah. e- Give them some today, matches. They said by the weekend it might even be, like, kind of warm. I get matches for what? What do you get matches for? I just, I mean, I saw that because the other day when I was in a restaurant, a homeless guy came in and first he asked for a hot cup of coffee, but they didn't serve coffee. Mm-hmm. And then he asked for some matches. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I, I mean, fire, you know, heat. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not the brightest bulb in the room, clearly, but, uh, you know, I'm just putting two and two together. Here. <laughs> okay. Now, also, I want to get back to this Jeezy uh, conversation. Now, if you haven't heard, Jeezy was arrested yesterday. What was he arrested for? You? He actually had to turn himself in, and that is because allegedly. He brutalized his son. He made terroristic threats. Hey, he didn't brutalize. Him. He beat his son. I'm just telling you what happened. Can I tell you what the charges were? Go ahead. All right. It was for battery, false imprisonment, and making terroristic threats against his own son. What was the terroristic threat? He told him that he was going to kill him. He said, I will put a bullet in your head right now. If I could get away with it, I would kill you. And what else? I bought you in this world and I take you out? Well, Jeezy says that's what he told him. He didn't say those earlier about things. Typical parenting 101. If your father or mother never told you I bought you in this world and I take you out, they didn't love you. Well, that, well that's a good question. And we're going to open up the phone lines. 800 585 1051. Is that typical parenting? Yes. Is that what a father does to a young boy so he doesn't turn out to be a killer, a murderer? 
Yes, I grew up in South Carolina. So you tell somebody I'll kill you so that you don't turn out to be a my killer or a murderer? If you got to, if your son is acting up and stepping up to Well, you. isn't that kind of hypocritical? No, my father told me I was, I was going to end up in jail or dead anyway, so he might as well just kill me and get the insurance money. At, at least it worked for Charlamagne. It must have scared him straight because... I, I probably got arrested after that for selling drugs. It don't matter. I appreciate every effort <laughs> my daddy put, exactly. put on me. 800-585-1051. Did Jeezy go too far? No. Will you punish just like this as a kid? Yes. Did you get beat? Did you get threatened? Yes, with an extension card and made to take a bath. Did Talk you get to me about it? Punched now. in your chest, punched in your face as a child? Damn right. Do you right. do that to your son, Envy? I will if I have to. If he acts up and starts acting like a crazy, I definitely will. That's right. 800-585-1051. Here's Jay-Z Ross. See, my father established our relationship when I was seven years old. He looked at me and said, you know, I brought you in this world. I'll take you out. And it don't make no difference to me because I'll make another one look just like you. Absolutely. That's right. If your parents never gave you a good ass whooping and told you I brought you into this world and I take you out, they never loved you. Well, it's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. If you just joined us, we're talking about Young Jeezy. Now he was arrested last or yesterday for what, Yee? He allegedly beat his son really badly, punched him in the face, threw him against the glass shower door, mm -hmm. and told him that he would put a bullet in his head. That sounds like my childhood. And let me tell you something. I have uh Falling in the tub. And the reason I fell in the tub because I was running from an ass whooping from my father. <laughs> and he came in the bathroom and went after me. And I would have fell into a glass shower door if we had one, but we had the curtain. Oh, yeah. So he I just fell curtains. into the tub. Yeah, but you know, the crazy thing is, I didn't just get beat by my dad. I got beat by my mom's. Your aunts. My aunt. Your grandma. My grandma. I never yes, know so. where she got that strength. But my grandma would put a whooping to me one time. That's what I, like, I was, whenever I hear stories like this, the first thing I think is, well, I need to press charges on my mom and pops and grandma and aunts and uncles too. I've gotten beat with extension cords and was made to take a bath. N nothing, nothing causes confusion like having to go pick your own switch. You want me to go pick the weapon that you are going to use against me? And that, huh? little, and that little flimsy slipper hurt. That little flimsy slipper my grandmother used to not, that hurt. You ain't never been sitting in the passenger seat of the car and mouth off at your mama. She just backhand you, bow, mm -hmm. and don't even veer off the road a little bit. Huh? Yeah. Come on now. Well, let's go to the phone lines. 800-585-1051. We got Dave on the line. Now, Dave, did Jeezy go too far? I mean, every kid should get beat, you know? You gotta, if you don't put fear into your kids, they're going to step up to you all the time. I agree. Absolutely. And when you're when you a young man growing up in your house and you start getting 15, 16, getting a little hair on your penis, you start thinking that you're yeah. big and bad. Hair on your penis. So, right. wait, so how, much, so how much is too far? A, is there not a difference between beating your child and punching him in the face and telling them you'll kill them? I mean, my, my mom did that to me, you know, so I don't see nothing wrong with that. And I, I turned out fine. She told you she'll kill you? Yep. She said she brought me in, she'll take me out. That's right, man. Absolutely. Bill, Bill Cosby and Claire Huxtable made terrorist threats to their kids all the time. That was fake. My dear threatens to whip... My dear does whip little kids' asses all the time. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this guy's talking about fake shows. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Keisha from Brooklyn. Hey, Keisha, good morning. Good hey, morning. And now, you from Brooklyn, so I know you got your ass whooped. Of course. <laughs> Talk to me about the worst beating you ever had. It's so many. Where should I start? Okay. I think the worst beating I had is it was right before my 16th birthday. I bring my homegirl for you. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't talk. I think I cried for like three days straight. As far as my mom saying, which one is to this where I could take you out? Yes. She said it so much that I tatted on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm not judging Angela Lee, but I believe what Charlamagne said. If your parents didn't tell you that, they didn't kick you. I'm sorry. See, I, my, my, parents my parents told me to thank you, mama. They told me that. They told me that many a time. Many a and time. they whooped my ass many times. Listen, my parents never told me they would put a bullet in my head. I'm sorry. My dad said, you want to be a man, put your hands up. <laughs> That's right. They never said that to me. My pops beat me with an extension cord and made me take a bath. I bet you I never tried to set fire to my mom's carpet ever again. Hey, what? What is wrong with you? Listen, one time I pushed my mom by accident because she was beating me, and I pushed her off, and she said, you wait till your daddy come home. He beat me like I was just another man who put hands on his wife, and I deserved it. Yeah. 800 We're talking about Jeezy allegedly beating his son crazy. Was it justified? Did he go too far? Call us up right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. That was Drake, 2 Chains, Big Sean, All Me. 800-585-1051. It's the Breakfast Club. We're talking about Jeezy. He got arrested yesterday for beating his son. I'm really enjoying this story from our intern, Nikki. She's African. Mm -hmm. So you know they went down in their house crazy. Well, what did she say? She said she got beat so crazy one time that she f pretended she fainted in the tub. Damn. Because, because her, she wanted to beat her father the was whipping that ass. Her mother was whipping Gosh. that ass. Well, did Jeezy beat his son too far? Did he go too far? How? What do you think? Or did you get beat just the same? Call us right now. 800-585-1051 is The Breakfast Club. It's Tamar Braxton. You better handle it because if I handle it, he's going to smile and say, no problem, and I'll have to kill him. <laughs> 
So you want me to kill him for you? Right. Uh, son, your mother asked me to come up here and kill you. Hey. So y'all want to uh, arrest Cliff and Claire Huxtable for terroristic threats? Well, that's not real, The, the greatest me. parents ever possibly in the history of life. You want to arrest them for terroristic threats? They're not real. It's The Breakfast Club, it's by the way. It's a TV show, by the way, sir. DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne Tha God, we are The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, GZ got arrested for what, Yee? Uh, for allegedly making terroristic threats against his son and abusing him. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank my mom and pop for every ass whooping I ever received in my life. Absolutely. My Taught aunts, me how to act for the most part. Mama. Absolutely. Proverbs thirteen twenty four. He who spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is careful to discipline him. Well, shout out to other parents that are able to discipline their children without putting their hands on them. And shout out to all the parents who don't even know they got badass kids yet because they haven't yet to beat their child. Absolutely. When they turn 15 and flex on you, you're going to be quite confused. One of my friends has a teenage son, and whenever he acts up, she just makes him sit down and write and think about it. And that ain't going to work much longer. Sit, sit. That ain't going to work There's much no longer. There's no way my son is going to sit down and... You can't, Hell no! You ain't grounded, Chief Keith. You ain't putting, nope. you're not putting Walker Flocking in time out. Not at all. It's not happening. Sorry. Well, let's go to the phone lines. 800-585-1051. We got T on the line. T, did Jeezy go too far? No. No, absolutely not. Our mother used to whoop our behind. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Terribly. And she used that same line. We got punched in the face and all. See? Listen, did your mother used to have the wooden uh, utensils on her wall, like the spoon and the, the no, fork? she had a wooden nightstick. Mm. What a nightstick. Oh. Yes. That was terrible. Did your mama ever backhand you in the mouth while she was driving and didn't even run off the road or nothing? You know, my dad will be driving and my mom's in the passenger seat, so it's See? easy for her to backhand us with her ring. Oh, and yes, sir. Uh, if you didn't get caught with the ring, she didn't love you enough. See, it's you your go. parents don't love you, ye. So what? what is too far? I don't understand. Like, what? what is When you got to pull out a gun and shoot your child, that's the yeah. you've gone so too far. So killing your child is too far. Yeah. But you, okay, <laughs> you know what I'm realizing? Yes. Ye never went to Disney World as a child. Yes. She never got spanked. Yep. I know. I definitely got spanked. Oh, you I never got popped. You never got punched in the face. face. So, yeah. yes, your parents really didn't love you. And now all you do is hang out at nightclubs till 4 in the morning, <laughs> come to work at 6, you drink heavily. You know anything you want to talk to us about? You, you do the same thing. No, I don't, actually. I don't hang out anymore. Nope. <laughs> Hello, who's this? <laughs> She's beating her kids right now. I'm not beating my kids. Okay? Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Do you think Jeezy went too far? Personally, I think Jeezy went too far. Why? But, like, because you're not supposed to assault your kids. Like, you're not supposed to punch your son in the face. Like, he's done something wrong. You're supposed to reprimand him. But you're not supposed to punch him in the face. What are you like, supposed to... Uh, okay, once your child gets 15, 16, and he think he a man like you, what are you supposed to do? Send him to his room? That kid's 17. Not a man. Yeah, you're supposed to give him, like, reinforced time out. Like, wow. Are you kidding me? He's 17 yeah. years old. Let's Let's see how reinforced timeout work for Chief Chief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell Chief Chief go to timeout. He in my house. Thank you, Mama. That might work. Everything else didn't. Hello, who's this? Jamel. You think Jeezy went too far? Hell no. Why not? I think I think I think the ass was when first we gotta find out what his son did for him to get outraged like that. But I'm like Charlemagne. I'm from the crib too. I put it like this. I grew up getting ass with him because I was I was you know I was a boy. That's and right. And I believe that if, if you don't. Put your hands or put your uh, foot in some in a little boy's ass. That's why you have the problems you have today with these black men running around taking their guys or whatever. There you go. Like listen, Charlemagne the guy. Listen, it's a reason fair. Not like Charlemagne the guy. That's the title. I mean, they walk around literally think that nobody can mess with them. Yeah. You yep. know what I'm saying? And if you don't tell your child like, hey, you know, ain't, ain't nobody above an ass whooping, you can get yours too. If you don't do it, society will do it to them. There you go. That's why we have what we have right now in, in these jail systems with all these kids. Running around here doing all this stupid stuff because nobody told him. Hey, I mean, I know, I stuff. know people who never beat their kids and their kids turned out fine. Listen, I don't think you have to beat your children. It's a reason fear spreads through your body when your mom says, "Wait until your father gets home." And most of y'all don't understand father son discipline simply because your father didn't raise you. Your mama don't even know who your daddy is. Your daddy wasn't in the house. If, and if you was a son, your daddy absolutely put hands on you like you were a grown man if you flexed on him and raised up at him. And you know the crazy thing about it is I, you, you see all these kids doing these crazy things, whether it's the knockout game or, or committing or robberies. And the main reason why I wouldn't do it, not because it was wrong, because I knew if my daddy ever found out, he would whoop my ass. Absolutely. And, you know, going about today's standards, uh, you know, Envy, I think not just Envy, but all the people listening and that's calling up, we all got abused as kids. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> our, our parents was abusing the mess out of us. Absolutely. Okay? Well, ye, I'm sorry your parents don't love you. Me too. If, if that's what love is, I don't want it. <laughs> well, we got rumors coming up.
Yeah, and Sierra is really upset at all of you bloggers. And she wrote a very, very long le letter to everybody to let them know how she feels and how she feels like they're wasting their energy, tearing her down. They're playing miserable. I'll give you a little bit of a synopsis of what she had to say. Go put hands on somebody, Sierra. Go administer some discipline. Oh, stop it. <laughs> we'll get into that when we come back. Keep it locked at the Breakfast you, Club. Charlie. Good morning. Yes! August Alcina, I love this ish. Good morning, everybody. August, you need another record. Yeah, yeah, hey, is. Def Jam. This record's still popping. I heard that they do got a new record out of something with Rich Homie Kwan or something, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Nobody knows. Crickets. I didn't, all right. hear, I didn't hear it yet. But, um, August, you need another record, all right? And shout out to my mom. She's going to prove that she loves me now by taking me to Disney World and beating me. <laughs> there you go. About time, <laughs> yeah, Mama Yee. Should have been happening. About time. Round of applause for Mama Yee. About time. Should have been happening. I mean, I get spanking. Make Angela Yee pick her own switch, Mama Yee. <laughs> well, I don't hear about your kinky life. All right, let's get into the room. <laughs> see Sierra. You in the bondage, too? <laughs> she's mad at the blogs. Let's find out why. Listen up. All the gossip. gossip, the rumor report, gossip. Angela, Angela Yee. It's the rumor report, the Breakfast Club. So Sierra is not very happy with what bloggers and commenters have to say about her, and she went ahead and wrote a whole entire post about it. She said, "I used to sometimes like visiting some of the blog sites to see what new things are happening in the world, things like cool photos." She shouldn't do that, though, and she definitely shouldn't read the comments. She said, people sure do have a lot of courage when they are anonymous. It's like a who can say the nastiest comment game. She said, I click on to some of the comments from something as fun as an Instagram post that you're sharing with your fans, and a person finds a way to turn a positive post into a negative. She said, I think to myself, I could pick this person apart so bad, but what for? Why act ugly like them? It honestly takes the fun out of it when people seem so miserable. Sierra, I promise you Sierra would not care if her career was really popping. I bet you she didn't care when Body Party was was popping off last year. That was last year, right? Yes. Yeah, I bet you she didn't care then. She only cared now because she don't got nothing going on. Well, it's a really, really long letter where she's talking about social media, and she ends it by saying, Now, off blogs, peaceful mind, living in my happiness, creativity only. That whole long letter could have been a song. You and Future could have been in the studio writing a hit record, but you chose that to write a freaking blog. It might not be blog. a bad idea for her to do a song about it. There, exactly. Absolutely. There you go. Yeah, Jesus well, Christ. That would be a great idea. Apply yourself, Smokey. Let's hit somebody up at her label and tell them. That would be a great song for I'm, her to she's still sure deal? listening. Yeah, dear, she still has a deal. Dear, dear sure Mr. Blogger. Or something like that. Dear Mr. Blogger. <laughs> dear Mr. Blogger. Yeah, it could have been like that Dear Mr. White Man song. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. Oh All right, Kanye West has added some more dates to his Yeezus tour in case you wanted to go and didn't get a chance to do that. And uh, he's going to start that on February 13th. They seem like they're smaller arenas, though. Not as big as the ones he was doing the first time around. It's called the Mr. Kardashian tour, right? You no, it's not. And oh. Gabrielle Union, she was on live with uh, Kelly and Michael the other yesterday morning. You know, Being Mary Jane debuted on BET last night, the series. Did you guys see it? I saw part of it, but I was trying to get ready to go out. But oh. yeah, it looks really good. Okay. All right, so here's what she had to say on the show, because she did not address the uh, side baby, but she did talk about the proposal from Dwayne Wade. Me and Dee are upstairs, the boys are downstairs, and the boys say, we want to do a presentation for you. So I thought they were going to do like a skit or a song or something. They're like, okay, now, and we turn back around, and they're holding signs that say, Nikki, will you marry us? But the thing is, they ask me all the time. I turn to Dee like, oh, you know, here we go. And he's down on one knee, and he's like, will you marry us? And I said, oh my God, you're serious? I said, oh, of course. So there you have it. So I want to say that uh, last Let's night. Keep it positive, you know. I, I saw the end of being Mary Jane. I'm gonna catch the whole show probably today, but I saw the end. Don't of say she, anything perverted. When she was in the uh, the gym, mm -hmm. and she got naked, and they was up against the shower getting it in. Naked on BT? Yes, that's what I said. You saw side boob and, and this everything. This is their first Thigh? ever original programming. Oh wow! I got horny. I mean, original series scripted. Not, programming. I got horny. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was like, that's hot. That was hot. Gabrielle Union is definitely vintage vagina. You don't too. even, yeah, you don't even need like a rated art thing. You can look at a rated PG show and get horny. That's skill. Now it was the setup though. It was the way it happened. Like it was biting each other's lips, and it was in the shower at the gym in a public place. And I think like, Gabrielle was just about to get in the shower after a nice workout. All right, Sean, let me get. It. Probably had a nice little musky scent to it. You know what I mean? Oh, you like the musky scent? I just thought it was hot. All right, and that is your rumor this report. I'm Angela right Yee. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Charlemagne. Yes. Don't get a day up next. Yeah, it's going to uh, Mr. Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield, please come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with you, sir. All right, that happens for after the hour. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's time for the donkey of the day.
That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil? <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yes, doggy today for Wednesday, January 8th, goes the former heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. Vander Holyfield. Now, Vander is currently on the UK's version of Celebrity Big Brother, and he recently made remarks comparing homosexuality to a disability, saying both can be treated by a doctor. Let's hear it. The Bible lets you know that's wrong, that's right. That's just the way some people are No, it don't make no difference if, if you are born... And your leg would turn this way. What do you do? You go to the doctor and get it fixed back right. It's not about being fixed. It's not a choice. Yes, it is a choice. Mm -hmm. You ain't gay unless you're sleeping with the options. First of all, if I have to explain to you (laughs) that uh, being homosexual is not a broken leg, it's not a torn uh, Achilles, it's not a separated shoulder. You can't go to rehab to repair your homosexuality. If I have to explain that to you, then you need to get a hee-haw. The fact that Evander Holyfield thinks that lets me know that he's clearly been hit one too many times in the boxing ring. I read a stat that said 55% of boxers suffer from some type of mental problem due to boxing. Evander Holyfield is clearly one of those guys. Homosexuality is not a disability. It's a sexuality. It's what some people in our society are, period. It's like you're straight. Some people are gay. Who cares? It is what it is. Let them live. Why do you care about who someone chooses to love or sleep with so much that you have concocted this BS idea in your mind that homosexuality is a disability? It's not something that can be treated. If Evander Holyfield believes homosexuality can be treated, then I should have been a doctor telling him, don't worry about that chunk of your ear Mike Tyson bit off back in the 90s. It'll grow back one day, Evander, if you just believe in the power of positive thinking. Give Evander Holyfield the biggest hee-haw. Yeah, that was a weird statement. I heard he got in a lot of trouble for that on the show. It's yeah, weird, weird is an understatement. Absolutely. Well, thank you for that donkey today, Charlemagne. Up next, we have Ask Ye. Now, if you need advice, relationship advice, or any type of advice, this is your turn to call up, get on air, and ask Ye. 800-585-1051. You're having a problem, a situation, something you just need a little help with or some advice with? But a, if you need to beat your kids, though, I'm not the right person to ask. I need some advice, Ye. What channel is Good Morning America? It's uh, ABC 7. Okay, because they say uh, Gabrielle Union is on there now. And after seeing her half naked last night, I want to get horny again. See, look at that. I even knew the channel for Good Morning go. America. Yep, ask 800 <laughs> Ask Yee is next. It's the Breakfast Local Morning. That was Pharrell with Fronten. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. It's time for Ask Yee. Hello, who's this? Rodney Hanson. Rodney, what's your question for Yee? It's full government. Um, right. my, my question for Yee is... I walked in on my girlfriend and my my uh, son having sex. Amazing. Your girlfriend what? and your Wait, son? Wait, hold on, hold on. How old Amazing. is your son? Uh, my son is 19. Okay, go ahead. They didn't see me, though. So you didn't say anything? Oh, mm, punk ass daddy. Uh, what, what, am I, what am I supposed to say? Um, excuse me. <laughs> excuse <laughs> you me? You just let them finish? You just left? That's why you got to beat your son right here. Yeah. So now what? You I walk- mean, I was in Paris, you know what I mean? Like... You're Damn. embarrassed? Hell yeah, his son took his girl. And his son's penis is clearly bigger right, than his. You know this is Ask Ye, right? Sorry. All right, so this is still your girlfriend because you said your girlfriend. Uh, yeah, as of right now, yeah. What is wrong with you? Do you have low self-esteem? <laughs> you going to ask him that? <laughs> yeah, man, I guess so. <laughs> like, how is this still your girlfriend? And how have you not addressed this at all? And how did you let them continue and finish? I, I, I don't know, man. It was it was so shocking. I had to just walk away. And where did where did you go? You went downstairs and made a sandwich. Did you bring them something to eat too? Nah, man. I, I left the house and went to the gym. So how do you feel about this now? Are you going to break up with her? Uh, is that what I should do, right? Oh my goodness! You have to be kidding me. Well, so have you, like, have you have you spoken I love to her? My son, I can't. I can't get rid of my son, and I love. I didn't him. tell you to get rid of your son. I'm telling you, you need to get rid of your girlfriend. Okay. All right. So, have you spoken to her since you caught them? Nah, and she's been calling me and, and texting me. She's been calling my job. Sir, do you ever get mad about anything? No. Well, that's why she's sleeping with your son now, because you're not aggressive enough. Punk yeah, ass you, daddy. you sound, Rodney, I'm sorry, but you just sound like there's something mentally wrong with you. No, it ain't nothing wrong. I just, I just ain't want to know. I ain't know what to do, man. That's now, what, if, what have you said to your son since then? <laughs> not much. 
It's bros over hoes, man. Listen, where are you from? <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm from Jersey. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, listen, Rodney, this is what you need to do. You need to go ahead and give your girlfriend the business. You need to tell her that you walked in on her, you saw her having sex with her son, embarrass her, humiliate her, and you need to have a talk to with your son. But at least your son, you know, was able to show you that your girlfriend isn't ish. What about trying to take one of his girlfriends? No. Man, what is disgusting. going on in the world, man? <laughs> How old is your girlfriend, sir? Uh, she's 42. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Well, maybe you should learn something from your son. Obviously, he was putting it down, and you couldn't. And shout but out to your son. You for... do need to grow some balls, sir. <laughs> and shout out to your son for banging that vintage vagina, oh, man. Stop, man, sir. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Please just, stand up for yourself. Just break up with the girl and talk to your son, man. Good luck. Can I have your can I have your girl's Instagram? Stop it. Thank you. <laughs> What's her Instagram? No, man. No, man. You can't have that Instagram. Have a, have a great day, sir. Good you luck. You don't have a girlfriend anymore, just so you know. Yeah, I know now. Oh, my God. Oh, punk-ass daddy. All right, have a good day, I sir. Feel like I, I feel like I could just ask him for money. You should have. <laughs> you wonder why kids growing up to be Chief Keith. All right, well, thank you for that advice, Yee. You kind of scolded him. That was no advice. You, like, scolded him, Yee. But what, I don't understand. Why does he need advice? Punk-ass daddy. If you walked in on your... Never mind. All right, well, let's go to the phone line, see who else is there. Hello, who's this? Sha. Sha, what's your question for Yee? All right, I've been with this girl for one year, but I dated for... Uh, another year, right? So, no, so you've been with her for two years. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not two years, one year. Well, financially, two years. So, you know, now, uh, just, uh, you know, now money is coming. She makes more money than me mm -hmm. monthly. I make more money than her weekly. What? No, no, this doesn't that, make any that sense. Doesn't, that that, be, I, I, that I, doesn't add up. Hold up, hold up. We'll talk to you more when we come back. This guy is crazy. We're in the middle of Ask E. 800-585-1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Here's Drake. Hold on. We're going home. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, for the last four minutes, I've been trying to figure out how somebody can make more weekly but not more monthly. <laughs> I, I just haven't figured that out yet. Guys, can you help me? Listen, man, the Breakfast Club has the most uh, interesting listeners in the world. And by interesting, I mean stupid. <laughs> not all of y'all, but a good bit of y'all. 800 <laughs> We're in the middle of Ask Yee. Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's Love More. Everybody, it's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We're in the middle of Ask Yee. If you need relationship advice or any type of advice, anything at all, you can call Yee. 800-585-1051 or and you can remember always, no question is stupid yeah no question is stupid you can always email as well if you can't get through to the phone lines uh, it's breakfastclubam at gmail.com we got a guy on the line he just called Shy, you there? yo yo alright I'm in alright so now, now now you were telling us that you know no this is Ask Ye Envy he was telling me alright that he make, that she makes more than you monthly alright enough with the, <laughs> enough with the monthly and the weekly my question is if I ask you how much monthly rent do you want from me, if you don't tell me a number, and now I'm asking a year later, and you still can't tell me, so why what, not? What have you been paying? I've been paying twelve hundred a month. So that's the sorry. rent. All right. So okay, how did you find, right. how did you find out what the rent was? Uh, I know people. I'm Dominican, so we know every Dominican. So. <laughs> True. He's right, Anthony. He ain't wrong when he's right. See, si, senor. Okay. So. She basically is just getting more money from you than you're supposed to pay, and you agreed to do that. What's the problem? She never no, told you. She no, never told it, you what it, the rent no was. No, it's no agreement. So I just give her what I give her. So now I'm asking because I got to prioritize too. Now, but she didn't. She didn't yeah. lie to you. She, she's not telling me anything. Right, so she I didn't. didn't so she didn't so technically lie. Now, now that you found out what the rent is, you should be like, look, you know, somebody Dominican told me what the rent is. <laughs> And I think, you know, going forward, I'm going to pay half of that because I have priorities as well. Correct. That's punk all. Ass daddy. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's it, you punk okay, ass so daddy. I will leave it alone. No doubt. All right, you punk ass You know ass what? Daddy. Communication is a key to success in a relationship. All you got yeah, to do is I don't have time for all the sensitive and crying when we have a conversation. I don't got time for that. How much is it? Let's keep it moving. I don't want to sit here and cry because, uh, no, let's, what is it? But do you pay okay. half all the bills? Yes. It's only three billion. <laughs> Come on, I'm, I'm I'm I work for Coach K. I make money all the time. You got kids, so, man. So if you yes, make so I, much, if you make so much, if you make so much money, why are you complaining about twelve hundred dollars? Oh, no, you got, you got no, kids? No, I'm not complaining. I have kids. That's the thing is. Yes, I do have two kids. Eighteen year, eighteen year old and a six year old. Okay. I, I knew you was a punk ass daddy. 
<laughs> All right, well, look, just communicate. Just say, hey, I thought hey, you were not, No, no, Charlamagne, not with her, Charlamagne. She has her own two kids. Oh, listen, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't care about your problems. I don't even like to associate with people like you. You make my head hurt. Indeed. That's what I'm saying. I make my head hurt because I don't want to be good. Indeed. No, Salute, no. Salute, yeah. That's right. Just walk away from yourself and hang up the phone. And All right, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, damn it, man. Mercy. All right, yeah, I, I don't know how successful that ask you was. I, I guess you helped two crazy people. I don't know why people can't just communicate and tell somebody what's on their mind. How, I don't understand it. But this daddies. just goes to show you what I've been saying. Men are the new women. Okay. Punk ass daddies. Yeah, we got rumors coming up. Yes, and let's talk about a celebrity who lost her laptop, and now she's very concerned because, of course, there's some naked pictures and correspondence that she doesn't want the world to see on her computer. That happened on Being Mary Jane last night. To grab your and you say, give me your phone. Give me your phone. And he goes, why? Because you have naked pictures of me on there. Well, there okay. you have it. Yeah. We're all going to see that soon. All right. Well, rumors up next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ and the Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. Let's get into the rumors. Let's find out who lost their laptop. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Guys. The rumor report. Guys. Guys. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Lindsay Lohan lost her laptop. She said her computer was stolen at the airport in Shanghai, China. Mm -mm. She is offering a reward for its return. Now, I hope she doesn't do what Ryan Leslie does. Oh, boy. <laughs> and offer a million dollars on YouTube and then get her computer back. Now, she said she'll do whatever it takes to get it back. And the reason that she's so freaked out, she has a bunch of naked pictures of herself. Nobody which she says are from various photo shoots that were never supposed to be. Nobody released. cares. Nobody cares about naked pictures of Lindsay Lohan. She also said she has a, a private correspondence from famous people like Woody Allen and Lady Gaga. Okay. We don't care. Like, not, like seriously, pictures of Lindsay Lohan naked, that's kind of expected, right? Yeah. But, I mean, I guess she doesn't want it to get out. Or this could be all a ploy for her leaking her own naked pictures. Man, nobody wants them pictures. You marked, right. them, you marked them in spam. Now, you know Diddy bought you Ciroc. He's the face of Ciroc. Well, now he has a new brand that he's going to be putting out, and it's called De Leon, and it's actually a tequila. Yes. And he's doing that with Diageo as well. He said, with Ciroc, we dated. Now, with De Leon, we're married. This deal is way better. This makes me a true owner. So wow. He's sounds, getting all the money. He just wants all the money, huh? Sounds uh, pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. When do we start on Revolt? I went March 3rd. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. I just thought about it. You mentioned Diddy and his money, so I thought about Revolt. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. And in fact, I'm wearing a Revolt hoodie this morning, also. And yeah. I had one on yesterday. Yeah. All right, Young Jeezy. Now, allegedly, he was, well, he was definitely arrested in Atlanta for battery, false imprisonment, and making terroristic threats against his own son. Mm -hmm. According to the incident report, he did punch his son in the face, drag him into the bedroom, throw him on the bed, pummel him, and threw him into a glass shower door, causing him to hit his head, telling him, if I could get away with it, I would kill you. I will put a bullet in your head right now. That sounds like my childhood growing up in South Carolina. My father and my mother disciplined me heavily. And well, I appreciate said everyone. This did not happen. He did not brutalize his son. He did not make terroristic threats. He said they did get into an argument. He said he never hit him, choked him, or dragged him. But he admitted that he did shove him to the ground when he got into his face. There you go. Listen. If Jeezy got arrested for beating and threatening to kill his son, then I, we all need to press charges on our mom and pops. Then. And my grandma. And your grandma. And your aunts. Mm -hmm. Growing up. All right. Tyga just bought himself a brand new car. You heard about this, Envy? Yep. This story's for you. He got a car and everything all together cost him about $2.2 .2 million. He is getting money like that, huh? Mm. Now, this car is a 2014 Maybach. What is this called? A 62S Landalap? Landa, 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 you know, Landa what? Landerance. Landerance. Tiger got to be selling dope, man. Where's yep. Tiger getting all this money from? From Black China. Black China got to be selling dope, too. <laughs> Where all this money coming from? You know what? I was thinking the same thing, but I was like, you know what? I, I don't like to count nobody's pockets. I don't want to count nobody's money. But well, the car itself cost $1.3 million. Tiger selling dope. And then he spent a million tricking it out. He got a 40-inch TV inside and everything. Tiger selling dope. Now, the only other uh, person in... Uh, Jay-Z and Birdman have it. Yeah, Jay-Z and Birdman. So, so hold on. Jay-Z and Birdman? And Tiger have so the same car. So you go from the top of Young Money Cash Money to like in the middle somewhere with the same car? Tiger selling dope. Birdman probably like, man, man, I gotta get rid of and I had Tiger to, I, 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 Birdman like, I ain't never gave Tiger no royalty. Check, so I don't know where he getting the money from. <laughs> That's a lot of bread. All right, and last but not least, Celebrity Apprentice. The cast has been revealed. It's going to be Gordon Ramsay, Kenya Moore, Snooki, Ludacris, K. Michelle, Scott Disick, Lindsay Lohan, Leah Michelle, and Chris Angel. 
Was it Celebrity Rehab? What'd you say? No, Celebrity <laughs> Apprentice. Oh, all right. What are you saying about Ludacris and Kay Michelle? That's from Celebrity Apprentice? Yes. Oh. Right. Who do you think is going to win that one? Chris Angel need to do some magic. All right, and that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Thank you, Miss Yee. Now, up next, we have the People's Choice Mix. And since it's R. Kelly's birthday, we're going to pee on people this morning. <gasps> Don't say that. He wasn't found guilty of that, sir. Oh. That was a... Uh, a vaunt. Well, we're going to pee on... <laughs> <laughs> we're going to pee on a vaunt? Oh, my goodness. What are you talking about? We're going to play your favorite R. Kelly Joyce when we come back. Whatever you want to hear, 800-585-1051 at DJ Envy. Usually I post a picture Yo. of the artist or with the artist, but you just going to answer the phone? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought the You're answering the phone while <laughs> we're on, on the air? Hold on one second. Hold on. This guy. People's Choice Mix is up next. It's the R. Kelly Mix. Let us know what you want to hear. 800-585-1051 at DJ Envy. Let's go. Yo. I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. Donkey, donkey, donkey. 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 Donkey, the Breakfast Club. Yes, donkey of the day for Wednesday, January 8th, goes the former heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. Vander Holyfield. Now, Vander is currently on the UK's version of Celebrity Big Brother, and he recently made remarks comparing homosexuality to a disability, saying both can be treated by a doctor. Let's hear it. The Bible lets you know that's wrong, that's right. That's just the way some people are No, oh, it don't make no difference if, if you are born and your leg would turn this way. What do you do? You go to the doctor and get it fixed back right. right? It's not about being fixed. It's not a choice. Yes, it is a choice. Mm -hmm. You ain't gay unless you sleep with the object. First of all, if yeah. I have to explain to you <laughs> that uh, being homosexual is not a broken leg, it's not a torn uh, Achilles, it's not a separated shoulder, you can't go to rehab to repair your homosexuality. If I have to explain that to you, then you need to get a hee-haw. The fact that Evander Holyfield thinks that lets me know that he's clearly been hit one too many times in the boxing ring. I read a stat that said 55% of boxers suffer from some type of mental problem due to boxing. Evander Holyfield is clearly one of those guys. Homosexuality is not a disability. It's a sexuality. It's what some people in our society are, period. It's like you're straight. Some people are gay. Who cares? It is what it is. Let them live. Why do you care about who someone chooses to love or sleep with so much that you have concocted this BS idea in your mind that homosexuality is a disability? It's not something that can be treated. If Evanda Holyfield believes homosexuality can be treated, then I should have been a doctor telling him, don't worry about that chunk of your ear Mike Tyson bit off back in the 90s. It'll grow back one day, Evander, if you just believe in the power of positive thinking. Give Evanda Holyfield the biggest hee-haw. Yeah, that was a weird statement. I heard he got in a lot of trouble for that on the show. Yeah, weird, weird is an understatement. Well, that was a well-deserved donkey. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, today is R. Kelly's Born Day, right? Yeah, and I, I was kind of mad, man. I missed a couple songs in the mix. I didn't have enough time. Like, the download joint with Ron Ozzy was my joint. Well, you know... Half on a baby. It's funny, because listening to you provide the soundtrack for R. Kelly's Born Day and listening to all the R. Kelly records, it just reaffirmed something for me that I always already felt like i just don't listen to r kelly's music the same ever since those sexual allegations of him urinating on that underage girl but not for nothing i'm not judging he was found not guilty i know but just everything around him seems so crazy like when you listen to songs like age ain't nothing but a number and seems like you're ready and he calls himself the pied piper the pied piper played a flute and led little kids off oh. somewhere he just, they just disappeared yeah like, that song i want to kiss your candy what <laughs> <laughs> I just I just can't listen to R. Kelly's music the same. It just don't register for me the same but way. But he was that it found did. not guilty, whether you believe it or not, man. in front of the court hey. system, he was found not guilty, so you should let go. Right? Hey. Now I will say this. What? A lot of people thought it was gonna be over for him with that trial and everything and it would be done, but he still has made well, it's, to... it's kinda over for him. He's yeah, he's he's putting out music, but, but not, it's not the same. He's forty six. Maybe it's not old. the same, but it's not like his career ended. He's forty six, he's dressing like he's twenty something, he dresses like he's tiger. A little twist to one of them. I just can't get into R. Kelly's music the same. I just can't. Even though I, and I ain't go front, I saw the sex tape, and uh, oh, no, you child did. pornography. Uh, no, it's, no, it's not. Every girl on there is not underage. Okay. Okay, and one of them was absolutely. But I had to do it for research purposes. <laughs> and the <laughs> fact crazy. of the matter is, uh, the the part when he was tossing the girl salad. Mm -hmm. Okay, for like two hours. Yeah, that the and she was of age and had he had the Grammy or something sitting on the desk. <laughs> oh, you really watched this, huh? 
That was amazing. I actually learned how to do that because of R. Kelly. Like, but win a Grammy? No, tall <laughs> silent. But but I just can't listen to the music the same way. I just can't. It just don't register for me the same. It's just like you with nah. your butt. Side. Well, I can't do it. Let's open up the phone lines. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Do you agree with Charlemagne? Ever since he was, uh, I, I don't want to say, well, I, you could say charged. He called himself the Pied Piper. You know the story of the Pied guilty. Piper? The Pied Piper played a flute and led little kids. They just disappeared yeah, from guilty. the village. Ever since there was allegations out there of him having sex with an underage girl, do you listen to R. Kelly the same? Is his music the same to you? Or do you look at him differently? Call us up right now, 800-585-1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne Tha God. We are The Breakfast Club. But we can't forget this. Said rolling around, sitting on doves, thought my I was high on truck, cooling in my escalade. Man, I'm paid, I got it made. Take me to your special place. Close your eyes, show me your face. I'm gonna f on it. I'm gonna pee on you. Trip, trip, trip. I want to pee in your food. I want to pee on you. All right. Y'all just not going to let R. Kelly right. celebrate his birthday. Right. No, and that is the reason why I just can't listen to R. Kelly's music the same. Ever since those allegations came out of him being a pedophile, I just can't get into R. Kelly's music. I don't care how good Step in the Name of Love sounds. I don't care how good the love letters seem. You don't care that he beat those charges? No, because he only beat him because of probable cause. Because they didn't have probable cause to search his crib. That's the only reason, so no. See, Step in the Name of Love was my joint, though. I ain't going to lie. But I, I, I feel you. Like I, I've never looked at R. Kelly the same ever since. And, and then it seems the like he, it seems like he's been playing with us all these years. You hear age ain't nothing but a number, and right. seems like you're ready. ready. He calls himself the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper played a flute and led little kids out of a village the kids would never see again. Like, I just can't get into him. Sorry, that's just that's just me. He's a talented guy. Cool. If y'all like it, hey, love it. But I'm just not into it. Well, let's go to the phone lines. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. We got Sean on the line now. Sean, do you still look at R. Kelly the same? I listen to him the same way, man. It's just about the music, man. I don't care about none of the other stuff going on with him, man. It's still the music. It's about the music. He's talented. He's a great writer. He's written for how many millions of people? He's a dope artist, man. Beyond beyond his personal life. I'm just trying yeah. to put the CD in and press play. Beyond the fact he allegedly peed on the underage girl. Well, that's how he feels. Hello, who's this? Jody. Jody. How are you? I love R. Kelly. No matter what you guys say, I love R. Kelly. So that's all you got to do is get people to step in in the name of love, and we can forgive all sins. We right? can forgive R. Kelly, Charlamagne. Lord have mercy. All right. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Hello. Who's this? This is Cassandra. I'm calling from Long Island. I have to agree with Charlamagne on this one. I have a 13-year-old daughter. I can't. I just can't listen to him the same anymore. I can't. Okay. Thank you, Mama. Have a nice day, you guys. You too, okay. now. Hello, who's this? This is Venus. Venus, you still rock out to R. Kelly or nah? You don't, you don't F with R no more. Oh, no. I'm a rock with R. Kelly always. His personal business is his personal business. Oh. Just like I rock out with Chris Brown. Just like I rock out with the rappers who used to sell dope. They have to answer to God, not to me. If the beat is banging, it's, it's on my CD, it's on my iTunes, it's, it's rocking me. You might as well just scream, pee on me! Right? Yeah. Next time you go to this concert, yeah. hold up a sign that say pee on me right in the front row. <laughs> uh, only if he's been drinking water. Cause oh, been my gosh. Damn. Thank you, Mama. Mama. And not if he's been having <laughs> multivitamins. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> she said only if he's been drinking water. All right, man. When we come back, some positivity. The positive note of the day. Don't go anywhere. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Oh, God. I love it. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Yes. Ah, now. Oh, is it morning? Yes, this morning. Oh. You're right. She's she, like she, extended night. She was me. out all night. Oh yeah. You know. You didn't sleep? No. Did you shower? Of course I showered. I don't believe her. She took a whole bath. Mm. Under the two armpits, mm. vaginal you know, area. I don't play. Listen, I will teeth. be I will be late to work because I have to shower. <laughs> I'm not the type okay. of person to come to work unshowered. I'm sorry. I it ain't, not, listen, ain't nothing wrong with a little whole bath. That's why you carry your little whole kit. You got your little toothbrush, nope, toothpaste. I went home after the club, I showered, and I came here. <laughs> Wet wipes. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, leave us on a uh, positive note. Show me. me. Hey, somebody needs to hear this this morning. I know things might be getting rough. You might be thinking about quitting. Just know when you truly want success, you'll never give up on it, no matter how bad the situation may get. Challenges are what make life interesting, and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. Breakfast club, bitches! That's right. Anything worth it never comes easy. That's what they say, right? Absolutely. So, Charlamagne, you got to separate all those easy women. I don't mess with easy women. I've been chilling lately, man. I don't be messing with no chicks, man. I ain't my, I'm not into that right now. I'm focused. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you changed, man. Happy. Everyone's joining the Breakfast Club. Oh, yes.